Hi, my name is Karthik Gopalan. I'm a graduate student at UC Berkeley. In our previous video, we talked about printing conductive traces and integrating that with vacuum forming. And we showed that we could vacuum form a conductive circuit and it would stay conductive after vacuum forming. Today, I want to talk about one of the main challenges of vacuum forming, which is the large distortion that's inherent to the process. I'm part of the way through the process of simulating the distortion due to vacuum forming. And today I want to show a comparison of the simulation of my distortion and the actual distortion during a form. So now I'm laying down a mask onto my substrate using this large area of tape. I'm setting up to cut the mask in our lab's laser cutter. And that'll define the area where the conductive ink will go. And now I'll start the spraying process. So now I've got my circles printed on, on the substrate, and they're nice and uniform. And we're going to see how they deform when we vacuum form this part. So if you look at the circles on top, they're still quite circular. That's because where the plastic first hits the mold is a very low deformation region. But if you take a look at these circles down here, they're very distorted. That's because the plastic is getting stretched quite a lot to compensate for the increase in surface area. So this is the first time I've actually tested my simulation, and I'm actually quite surprised with how well the two match. So now I've shown that I can map the distortion relatively accurately. Now I want to pre-distort the, the 2D image such that it's uniformly spaced on the 3D model. One of the end goals of this project is to be able to pattern antennas around a 3D surface. This will allow us to use these antennas in an MRI scanner to potentially get a better image of a subject. 